This playthrough is rated E10+. Why is there a bit of uh, a secret of Monkey Island in my Legend of Zelda? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Walter right here with another game, and this time it's Bilkin's Folly. Just came out on October 2nd of 2023. Uh, unknown studio, as far as I'm aware of, like a lowbrow indie studio. This is a game about a man and his dog and their journey through a Caribbean type of setting. Uh, let's see what this is all about. Let's see what the options are. You can play this with keyboard and mouse or with a uh, controller. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, obviously, this is a game that has old-fashioned pixel art, so, you know. Uh, let's see. Now eh, we could leave all that in, because I've got a fancy PC. Let's drop the volume just a little bit. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, we can do, and I've got, I don't have an Xbox controller, but the, I've got something similar to it. Do you there's not, like, a controls... Oh, there's Nintendo, Play oh, we gotta do PlayStation. Let's see, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation. I guess this is on the Switch as well, possibly, so. I will just leave on PlayStation. All right, so I have not actually played this game. This is like, like a lot of times is the first, uh, first impression. So I've just found the game, saw, thought it was interesting and brand new. I was like, yeah, you know, let's try some pixel art uh, games and see how that works, so. All right, see, um, we'll just do normal for now. I could probably, this looks like one of those games I could probably do hard because I played, you know, old fashioned stuff, but uh, we'll do normal for now. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. Tough experience includes unskippable puzzles, fewer hints. Well, I'm only gonna play for an hour or so. Cryptic NPCs, huh? Yeah, we'll just start for normal for now. In the world of the treasure hunter, what is the greatest prize of all? Is it gold and precious gems? Or the call of adventure? Could it be our family ties, our link through the ages? Or is it something else entirely? We join Percy Bilkins as he sails into the new world searching for his lost mother and grandfather. But while those distant shores beckon to Percy, the voyage of destiny rarely tracks a course knowingly charted. Wow, that storm dragged my ship to the ocean floor, so it looks like it has like sim issues. I'm lucky to be alive. Actually, it might be. I'm not sure what company made this. So. Where am I? I better, look, I better look for survivors. I mean, it could be an actual language, uh, but I am not familiar with it, so. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't know the history of the company that made this, by the way, so it could be European for all I know, like Polish or something, that's what he's speaking, and they just give subtitles for us, but it could be, it could be like Sims, where it's Simlish, where it's just a random gibberish, and it doesn't mean anything, it's just to interact that he's talking. So, alright, movement with the uh, directional pads, area map is through the touch panel, start for journal, and X to interact. Ahoy there, treasure hunter, and welcome to the Caribbean. To help you get started, remember these, left stick for movement, cross button interaction, Options for journal, touchpad for area map, and R3 for to call the tutorial. Okay. Alright, look around. Yeah, we can hide it. The UI is not very intrusive, which is nice. Welcome to... Uh, see. Okay, that's the same thing. So, pressing down on the R3 will get you this menu. R, uh, L3 will do this. Let's see, anything else? I got nothing right now, so... 
It's a chest with some of my mapping equipment. But it's locked. I lost the key though, and I don't have any way to open this right now. I'll have to remember to come back to collect it later. Sounds Sounds like Norwegian or something like that, but I could be wrong. As you travel the world, you're bound to run into obstacles or, or Danish or something like that. Uh, as you travel the world, you're bound to run into obstacles where solution is not immediately obvious, such as the one you bumped into. Whether it's locked chest or curious rock marking or a seemingly blocked path, you're bound to meet someone with a hint, discover critical clues somewhere, or gain an item with the help you solve this issue. Just remember, if a particular puzzle seems unsolvable, you can always come back later, which better tools and knowledge to crack that nut. Gross. Can we grab crabs or something with like that? A lonely palm tree. I wonder if it floats. Well, maybe. How often I find it? Sit back here. Bump down on it. the same thing. So, come back later, I guess. Delayed solution. Okay, that's just the same thing. All right, nothing around here. So now we need to find. Yeah, we had a dog on our ship. Hopefully, he's, you know, Fido or whatever is not gone. Welcome to Lonely Palm Island. This sign is the property of Jake Grubb's Island Tours. Jake Grubb! Gersapa Hedelu, Mundun! I wonder what strange and mis mystical civilization placed these statues here. Kaiputelawe? The Dutch? Well, uh, the Dutch were ahead in terms of the exploration game. Uh, Dutch, Spanish, then the French, then the British afterwards. That type of thing. And now they do nothing. Cower Sintef. A large statue. Oh. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Dwinna Hofe, fi stick will I din. What are you looking at, mate? I don't know. I can't really tell. Worth the? flowers. Hi there. Marin. Arr. Arr, what a look I have. There, Bonia. What are you doing sticking up people like that? The Amodemol. I nearly, Arnold, I nearly so jumped out of my skin. I'm oh, sorry. Why me tourists? So then what brings you to Lonely Palm Island? How often I find it? Sit my gear did. My ship right there almost drowned. Uh, um. Guy, food, a gamor. Are you feeling lonely? I feel fantastic. Why? <laughs> There's a sword sticking out of you. You're a ghoul! You look a little pale. You're very pale, like ethereal. You do know you're a ghost, right? Oh, what? Are you sure? I'm sure. There's a cutlass sticking out of your back. Oh man. Well, I guess I'd explain a few things. Like my urge to destroy the living? Um. Dot, dot, dot. Sit, Yimlin. Excuse me. Yeah, relax. I'm only joking. Say, what's your name, kid? Here today. Percival Bilkins. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. My friends call me Percy. I'm Guy Bruce the mighty pirate. Whoops, sorry. We don't see too many of them around here. God, mommy, God, you're not, you're, you're sure you're not some mighty pirate? What? No. I'm a pirate. How often I find it? I'm a treasure hunter. It's bad to come from a long line of treasure hunters. I might just talk over this for now on just because. Well, Percy, the name's Cedric. Uh, so, you could tell that they were inspired by Monkey Island because they mentioned a mighty pirate. That's got to be a reference to Monkey Island. Uh, who are you? Marshy's Gallen. What's your name? Cedric Eisenhower. The resident ghost of Lonely Palm Island, I guess. What's your story? Well, I can't say I remember too much. After a dreadful storm, I washed up here on Lonely Palm Island. It wasn't all bad, though. I had my best friend, Charles Blum, to keep me company. Uh, I recall us discussing ways to get off the island. Charles wanted to swim down to Crab Island while I thought we could make a boat from the palm tree near the beach. Swimming sounds like a bad idea. That's what I thought, especially considering how weak we were from lack of food. 
sure what to look at. Still, Bomb was insistent that the trees would, the tree would float. That we just needed a good source of protein to get our spirits up for the journey. You couldn't just eat those cute little crabs? Crab people. Oh no, Charles had a shellfish allergy. Oh man, that would suck. Didn't make them all itchy and irritable. Dot, dot, dot. Me, well, I'm on a strict meal, meat free, gluten free, taste free diet due to a lifestyle choice, which is probably why you're dead. Oh wait, or because it's so sweet. I think I've heard enough. Why would you have an eat? I know this is that's a joke, but why would you have a certain lifestyle like that back in the uh, back in the times where it was kind of hard to get food in the first place? I think you wouldn't want to restrict what your options were. What about about this island? Any clues where we are? Silsig. Where are we? Holy Palm Island. Do you have an auto map in that journal? As a matter of fact, I do. If you look at it, you'll we'll, we'll see we're just north of Crab Island. What's with all the stone heads around here? Halfen, I find there's a lot, there's a lot of stone heads on this island. Yep. Why are they four? No idea. Have you got a map of that island of, uh, that journal of yours? I sure do. I've been marking their positions on it too. Maybe I should turn down the volume of uh, voices a bit so I can talk over without having to adjust it. I need to get out of here. I have to get out of this island. Already? You just got here. Why not stay a while? Make yourself comfortable. Enjoy the sunshine. Have a coconut on me. No thanks. Well, it's, unless you're going to get me the coconut somehow. Treasure hunting. Anything valuable around here? Like fairy treasure? Yes. Maybe. I'm sure there is. A treasure hunter like you will be able to find it. Alright. Anything interesting to do here? What's we're checking out here? Well, there's the palm tree down on the West Beach. It's always worth visiting if you haven't done so already. Da, da, da. There's a strange rock southeast of here. On oh, the stone heads, of course. Yep, it's fun, fun, fun here. Maybe you died of boredom. Hi. <laughs> Alright, let me ask you something else. Oh, we can ask uh, for a hint. Uh, can I do anything to help? How fin I find it? Since you asked, this achy back is killing me. Well, killed me. I'd love to be able to live, lie on my back again. So we could pull the sword out of your back? About the sword on your back. That sword. I want it. I want you to have it. If you find my body, it's all yours. How to get in your back anyway. Reach me. Oh, sorry. Next thing I understand, uh, no, I'm traversing the underworld. Yes. Well, hey, you don't think Charles had anything to do with my death, do you? Sorry, he said something about. Well, let's try it again. How fin I Da guera. Oh, uh. Well, anyway, he said he was traveling Crab Island, and then he said he was in the underworld. So that was an accident. I, I was pressing it. I guess that dialogue box went by way too fast. Something like that. About your hat. Nice hat. Thanks. Marsh is calling. Where are the rest of your clothes? Uh, that's a bit personal, isn't it? Sheesh. Where are your legs? Where are your legs? I don't know. Da, da, da. Where are your legs? Well, they're on my hips. Show off. I've got to go. Catch you later. Alright. So basically we need to find uh, either... I guess just get that palm tree out, so we have to find a way to do that. So, yeah, you hear that barking? That's nah, probably nothing. It's another one of those weird statue heads. It's looking across the other half of the island. Hmm, maybe they're facing as uh, important. Let me check something really quick. See if I can get over to the. Oh, okay, yeah. There's the map. There's Crab Island. There's a little island we're at. And our dog's there, apparently. There's the part of the island. Ooh. Hmm. Showing what, fa uh, what direction they're facing. Okay. Uh, after sailing all the way from Ireland in a leaky old... Oh, I should be giving the Irish voice to the main character. I've run uh, aground at the last leg of the journey. Without my equipment and boat, I might be stuck on this island for a while. The only problem is I don't know where I am. Better do some scouting and see if I can get back on track. If I've got any hope of finding my mom and pop. I thought he said grandfather, though, in the cutscene. I guess he calls him pop anyway. 
I met a friendly ghost island named Cedric. Mostly interesting. He has a phantom sword sticking out of his back. Of course, that means his real body must have a real sword sticking out of it, too. Don't ask me how I know these things, okay? Don't ask questions. If I can find his corpse, I should be able to pull the blade out and keep it for myself. Plus, Cedric will appreciate being laid to rest properly. Everyone wins. There's a lone palm tree on the island. I thought that maybe I could use it to float over the larger island south of here. If only I had a way to cut it down. Do palm trees float? Uh, I think they should. I'm not an expert on different fauna, but... Or flora, I mean. Okay. Uh, what would be considered the voice... Okay, the voice volume. Let's turn that down a little bit. Oh. Uh, oops. No. Hold on. Well, every time I try to get to that part, it disappears. Maybe there's a... Hold on. Sorry. I'm trying to press it. Oh. I don't mind the voice voice up there, but I don't want to be. That seems, that seems fine. Because I'm just going to talk over it from now on. So, sorry, folks. Yep, it's a statue. Not that I don't mind the voices. It's just for recording purposes. It'd be kind of annoying to have to have to uh, uh, adjust the volume when he's speaking. So, Huh. Uh, let's see. Zero, four, let's uh, see, zero, left, four, hmm. That's a very interesting combination of, uh, numbers. Perhaps that has something to do with number, numberly rocks. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep, we'll put that in the back burner. Another one. So another one. I'm starting to think this is staring at Crab, I, I think this one is staring at Crab Island. Maybe it wants to get out of there too. Out there too, or whoever built it was really weird. Actually, they probably just built it and then it eventually just sunk into the sand, sunk into the swamp and all that. Now we found our dog Drayton. Yay! You've unlocked your first crew member. What, there's more? Drayton was your mother's dog, left behind in your care when she sailed off in search of your grandfather. With no one else to care for him, Percy decided to bring Drayton along on the trip across the Atlantic. He's now a veritable sea dog. Yar! Alright. Let's see if there's any uh, description. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Okay. Things are looking up. After scanning around the island, I found Drayton annoying the lo local wildlife. Mom left Drayton in my care when she took off after my grandfather. I've been looking for him ever since. It's nice to be reunited. Good boy. Good boy. All right. How do you build that, though? Or is that someone else? That was probably someone else. Is that my journal? Day one. Bah. What poor luck. Stranded on this miserable island with that fool Cedric. Never the worry. Crab Island's not far south of here. I'm sure a rescue will pass in no time. I'll be back on me secret mission. Day six. Rots me luck. No rescue will be coming, I fear. Cedric's been on me nerves the last few days. No luck with them stone heads be lying about. Day 9. Curses, I'm so hungry. Day 10. A terrible accident. Cedric tripped and fell on, that s on the sword that I'd carelessly left laying about. Ah, alas, poor Cedric. Cut down to the prime of his life. Day 11. I've decided to give Cedric a proper burial. I'll make use of those funny stones, heads laying about to mark his whereabouts. Broke my favorite shovel while burying Cedric. I was so angry I threw the head at a r in a rage. Heard it bouncing off some rocks before a big splash. When, li uh, when looked for, I couldn't find the bloody thing. <sighs> Left the rest of the shovel at those weird block things kind of near the mark, uh, rock with the funny markings. Day 12. With my strength recovered, I decided to try to swim over to Crab Island. Ooh. Here's hoping I could dog paddle that far. Or a raw city be old buddy. Hey, something just fell out of the diary. 
All right, I guess triangle does that. Hey, as any treasure hunter knows, maps and clues are essential for tracking down the best booty. Haha, <laughs> booty. Uh, press triangle button now and the game will bring up any maps for after quest. You can switch active requests in the journal. Okay. Oh, and I guess we can try to, let's see. Oh, you can turn, uh, turn them around and stuff like that. Let's see if these can be connected. Uh, nope. How about, let's see, I'm trying to think of some obvious. I probably don't have all the pieces. Or a piece to connect these together, at least right now. Let's see, nothing really sticks out that I could obviously put them together. Yeah, not really. Oh wait, maybe. No, never mind. I thought that would fit. Okay. Well, anyway, we got one. Uh, that one has one exclamation point. This one has two. Not sure if it's a. Uh, yeah. I assume it's this way because of the exclamation mark. The pacing is weird. Or the placing is weird though on it. So. Why would you put it upside down like that? Hmm. Well, anyway. God, no, what's the Cinder's friend uh, had a shovel in his possession during this island holiday? I better find it if I'll be able to dig up lots of interesting things. Oh yeah, shovels would be really useful. What do you actually do, Dayton? Huh. There we go, he's a bloodhound. What you got there, boy? Maybe I should try. Maybe I should do this up. It looked like Drayton has picked up the scent of something in the ground. Why not dig it up? The deeper Percy digs, the wider the dig radius becomes, given a higher chance of finding something. As Percy and Drayton continue their adventure, they'll find better tools that will let them dig faster and break through harder ground. Keep your eyes open. Square button to start digging. But I don't have a shovel though. Oh, did we find a shovel? Is that what he found in the ground? Was the shovel? Oh, we can use our hands. I found something. Da 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 da. Dang, it's just a junk, old, a junky old bottle, completely worthless. Okay, okay, you're a good boy for finding it. Dang straight. Still, you want to stamp out something more worthwhile than that? That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah, I guess you're right. That would make my life too easy. All right, so junk trail is another one. So we could dig anywhere, but it's probably better to wait for Drayton to uh, um, do his little hoodoo voodoo. So maybe around here. Found something. A heavily infused cork. Smells just like rum. Oh, cool. Alright. I guess that's uh, in our treasure bag now. So You can pet the crabs. Careful. You don't want crabs. Hey, find something. Just right here. Here today. Found something. Cool, a musket. Shame it's so rusty. It won't fire. I bet some pirate dropped it during a ferocious battle. I assume this is just for treasure. Maybe at the end of the, either you can sell it during the game, or maybe at the end of the game, you could say, "Hey, I've got all this treasure. This is how much I found over the course of the game." That type of situation. Yeah, we gotta find that. He said it was a splash, so probably the shovel is probably in the water somewhere. When he wherever he dug up a um, buried his friend. Yeah, I just gotta. Yep. Let's see what's here. 
trying to hold the rusty <laughs> There's something here. Come out for a rusty ship nail. I bet it came from a Spanish treasure galleon. Yeah, you got a nail. I think the music to grab something is a little bit too long. You know, like, uh, well, I guess it depends on the... I mean, Legend of Zelda, some of the later ones were pretty long, too. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so there's where the first map is. I guess it is the... I guess it is this way. It's just the exclamation point makes you think it's... You know, so it's right between... Here. Well, I, don't know. I found something. How fun I find it's it? a wood sick. Actually, this looks like a handle to blum shovel. I wonder if I can find the rest of it. There's something else in this hole. It looks like a map of some sort. I best blum dropped it here by mistake. What you got there? Let's see another map. So that's where his uh, uh, body is. So I guess when you dig it up, it's not in the thing anymore. Okay. That's probably how it's supposed to be. It's probably this way. I thought there was we were supposed to connect maps, but I guess that's not how that works. So, okay, so it should be a head that looks north and left, but it mentions the other heads too. So, hmm. okay, so no heads down there. That one looks the other way. Got this head. Oh yeah, I need to find that spot where those uh Oh. Let the boy find it. If it's around here. Well I don't know. What's this? I really Our carpenter's playing. Gullicky. Nothing special about this one. Yay. Oh, whoops, I actually didn't mean to dig. I mean, maybe I would have found something, but I didn't want to waste our time doing that, so. Let's see, so where's that one? Okay, so there's that. So I guess it would be, I guess it would be kind of a... Because there's the... Oh, I don't see another... Unless it's the other way around. Let me see if it's up this way, maybe. Like, maybe if it's a flip this way. No, that doesn't really scream that direction. So, yeah, that... So, if uh, this is that, so it should be like a... Probably in the water somewhere. I wonder if the dog can find it. Oh, he won't even go into the... Oh, there it is. A shovel head. That was supposed to be the, the blunt threw away when he was still when he was angry. Silly. How I now I can dig out the rest of the stinky island. I bet if I can find Cedric's grave and dig it up, I'll be able to get that sword. Rusty shovel acquired. Yay! All right, let's see what it says on our description there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Drayton. I'm proud, I'm the proud owner of a slightly used shovel. Who knows what fabulous treasures I'll dig up with it. Okay. Now I just have to figure out his, uh, and obviously it's gotta be this way for the, that, so. Yeah, I'm not finding the, let's, uh, where's my overall map? Okay, so, the only one that's looking right is this one. Let's see, left and up. So it's just a triangulate, but I don't see any, I mean, the only one would maybe, maybe the, this triangle, let's see. The only one looking there's this one, but there's nothing to triangulate with it with it. So it's gotta be this head. 
And the one looking left has got to be over here. But it mentions... It mentions the, a head looking right and a one looking down. That doesn't make sense. Maybe that means they're just in the general area. Huh. Well, let's try it. Let's try that plan. There's a shovel head. My first junk. Rummy cork. And Rusty must get the strange rock. Shovel head. Or shovel handle. Okay. Well, if, if it's triangulation, should it be... But didn't he say when he was burying Cedric, it was... Well, no. I guess he said he threw it into the water, but it could have been in the general area. So I guess that makes sense to be here. So maybe somewhere around here. Oh. Uh, what was in the hole, Percy? A map. I think it shows where you're buried. Ah, good one. Classic blob. Okay. Gotta go now. Bye. All right. Too bad there's not like a run button on this. Oh, whoops. I didn't actually mean to date there. I was just... Jeez. No way. Nothing. Okay, wait, wait. Yeah, so it should be somewhere around this way, if anything. I also like haven't seen anything, boy. So... I guess it would be in this general area. If I'm reading it right, anyway. I found something. Gross. There it is. Oh, guys, got his hand attached to it. Yeah. Huh. This is pretty blunt. Rusty Cutlass had acquired. You know, there really are quite a few bones down here. Oh, yeah? I bet you would. Oh. Eh. Well, he's a good boy, so. Well, maybe just one won't hurt. Drayton loves his treats. Huh, what happened? Oh, hi, Cedric. I removed the sword like you asked. What? What? Something's wrong? Um, uh, oh, maybe, may, maybe Drayton might borrowed one of your bones. Well, well, why? I, Perky Pelkins. Yes. You've, you've cursed me. Um, sorry. No, you. Whoops. Do we need to find his bones then to, because he buried it? Oh, hey boy, I don't suppose you saw that bone I gave you, do you? Yeah, I thought not. Whoops, I didn't. No, no. Back up. No, so it's... Let's, uh, let's see if we say anything about the... I gave said I did discover Cedric's grave between the worms. I glimpsed an old sword buried in his back. Borrowed it. Hopefully it's sharp enough to cut down the palm tree on the south side of the island. Huh. Well, can we dig up his bone to find it, or... I want to see if there's any other... He's just standing there, so I don't know if there's anything else there, so... There's got to be something here. Thought so. I found something. A wood nickel. I'm rich. Well, a nickel back in the day actually was quite a lot, but well, depending on the time period. Oh, it still says zero. Oh, one dollar. Okay. I'm seeing if uh, if uh, Dayton, Drayton will uh, find anything else before we. While we're walking around. Okay, you can stop at any time. Good to know. Okay, so we don't know where the key is, so. Wait, what was that? 
Oh, that was a worm. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so I'm just saying if Drayton will pop, pop uh, show me anything else. And now he's just running around. Now that he's cursed. Is it because, oh, it's because his body isn't uh, connected, so. Why does he keep going there? Maybe there's something I can find here? But... Hmm. Okay, I don't know why he's uh, hanging around there then. Come on, boy. Nope. Yeah, he keeps resetting back there for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, and there's a little arrow there. I just noticed that. Maybe that's a place to dig. Uh, tips for a successful treasure hunt. Triangle button checks any clues for an active quest. Option buttons to view the journal. Touch pad, check out your local map. Super useful. Observe the envir environment for anything out of the ordinary. Ask locals for help. Sit here, Nothing man. here. Oh, you can't dig in water areas. Gotcha. I wonder if these guys are also supposed to point towards a a direction that you can find something in. Like if you triangulate all the uh, uh, heads. But I think he said, he said some of them tr uh, go to like a completely different island though, so. Because we got the one that triangulated these. These doesn't, oh, well, technically it triangulates something. It triangulates like down here, but I don't think we can go to the water at this point. To get that. Let me see though. Probably not. Let's see if it lets you just go into the wire. It does for a bit. And we can drown. Good to know. Luckily we just don't game over it doesn't game over, we just pop up back to shore. Okay, so if we triangulate these two about right. Here, give or take. Probably can't even d dr go out that far. Probably drown at that point. Yeah, but there's nothing here, though. Okay. Okay. I guess those don't always mean something. Or if they do, I'm not. I'm not getting the. Uh, uh, any other triangulations we can get? Not really. Okay. I guess we can try to cut down that tree now, I guess. I was mainly to see if there was any other treasures before we go. There's a large island over there. Wish I could swim. You're you're a shipment. You go, you go, you own a boat, you're on a boat, yet you don't know how to swim. Well, usually in most games, the, the, they made people not be able to swim because it was just, they didn't want to program it in. Sometimes it's just kind of dumb. There's probably other treasures, but I don't think. Nothing's really coming about. Yeah, I guess we could just go ahead and, I think we can come back to this island at a later date, like if I found something later, right? Okay. I mean, there's probably some clues I'm missing, but I do feel bad about cursing him, but uh, boy was good. He needed his treat. All right, let's uh, try to use that sword on the, he says blunt, but it might, maybe it might be good enough. Completed, washed up. Your coconuts or your life. This shouldn't take long. With a sword? Yeah, it will. And it's rusted. Yes, it'll take a very long time because it's not designed for that. Yeah, weeks later. Surprised you had enough energy after a week. 
I named you P.S. Stumpy. Stumpy. I hope there aren't any sharks out there. Come on, Drayton. All right, so we gotta. Oh, we just travel over there. We don't have to. Okay, cool. I guess we don't have to worry about about man uh, about getting there. We just go there eventually. Uh, apparently, palm trees float. Who knew? Uh oh. Yeah. Time's a factor. Must hurry. Act one: the hunter and the hound. Yeah, that could have been a good place to stop, but I'll play a little bit longer. Hello. Oi there, sailor. The name's Jake Grubb. What brings you to Crab Island? Percy Bilkins, the name's Treasure Hunting Adventurer. Oh, Treasure Hunter, you think there'd be no treasure left in the house with the way you lock it around? Say, that palm tree wrote on. It looks familiar. Hey! That's Lonely Palm! Oh, that. I used it to escape Lonely Palm Island. What? You destroyed a parcel it's national icon! Um, really? There was a sign on the island. Why didn't you use that as a kickboard to swim across? Uh... Now that's... Now what will attract the tourists? Dot, dot, dot. The economy will tank! Dot, dot, dot. An ecological disaster! Dot, dot, dot. It's not only Palm Island anymore. Dot, dot, dot. Great. Good job. Thanks a lot. Sorry? Oh, well. Dot, dot, dot. Guess I'll need to get over there and change the sign. Oh. <laughs> yeah, why didn't we just use the sign as a... Well, actually, it wouldn't have been able to hold Drayton, though. So, well, we don't know how big the sign was, but... Ask about the boat. You have a boat? That's a problem. Only person on this island with a boat is Russell, and he's not moving anytime soon. Why do you ask? I lost my ship out at sea and need a replacement. I'm on a quest. A quest, hey. Well, Russell's boat is more of a dinghy. Won't be much good on adventure. I didn't hear that old salt that, that old salt had parked his ship over at Flemmy Fembley Island. I did, uh... Yeah, fell me out. I guess you could go talk to him. Maybe he'll part ways with it. Might be a perilous journey on that floating log of yours, though. Oh, I'm not taking Stumpy out again. She's retired. Oh, shame. Cut down the prime of her life, too. You want off this island, you better go talk to Russell. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lester. Oh, wait, Russell. Uh, anyway, Crab Island? What can you tell me about this place? Crab Island? Or Crab Island? You should... Should have named it Crap Island, if you ask me. There's not much in the way of prospects here. Plenty of drowned salts and a crew prefer to stay lost. If I was starting me adventure here, I'd be looking to leave as soon as possible. Hey, what's the best way to leave? Ha, huh, that's the rub. Look all over the racks. Plenty of ships have come in over the years, but not many have left. If it's a wreck you want, then you come to the right place. Only fellow with anything remotely seaworthy is Russell. But good luck talking to him. Charging for family. I'm looking for some people. Uh, Winston Bilkins and his daughter Rosemary. I uh, kind of, I look kind of like them. Hey, now that you mentioned, I thought you looked familiar for some reason. I've seen them, both of them, that is, but at separate times. Would have been years apart too. Something about a fabulous treasure he was hunting got lost up in the way, though. She was hunting him. That's my mom. Oh, sorry. I might have read about him in one of your journals, though, if you've interest. Oh, I'm the interest. Not so. It's be, it'll be in my shack when I, uh, what I can dig up about your family being on Crab Island. It's just a way south of here. Come visit me when you get the chance. Oh, and Percy. I forgive you for chopping down Lily Palm. Gotta get my hands on those diaries. It's Jake's shack. All right, so next quest, the great familiar, familiar hunt, okay? So just uh, hopefully, uh, there's some, what the? Is that a zombie? Whoops, I actually didn't mean to dig there. That'd be totally disrespectful. Miles Sandhaven, jo uh, Joseph Sandhaven, and Grace Sandhaven. Looks like a zombie. Um, hi? Hi there, the name's Carlos. No, oh, name's Percy Bilkins. Ah, oh, anyway. I don't know that what you're thinking, but being dead is so much better than being alive. I thoroughly re recommend it. 
Is that a knife in his hands? Say, Percy, you found a music. I've been known to have a lie or two. I know a song about the spot. Did you want to hear it? Sure. Ahem. Between the grub's domain, atop a settled nest, X marks the spot. No, oh, that's it. Between the southern tower and Blum's place of rest, X marks the spot. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Carlos Corpse, the crab, uh, uh, okay. Actually, maybe we can dig these up. Why not? Pirate. Huh. Can't dig up the bodies, huh? Either that or these are more just place markers. There's not actually any bodies here. I guess not. Nope. I guess there's nothing here. Oh, well, there's one on hers. What's this? A single copper coin. Well, you're not going to be paying the ferryman now, are you, lady? I'm not sure the grave robbing is going to pay off. Oh, that's just great. She won't mind. Trust me. So that wasn't a knife. It was his uh, violin uh, streamer or whatever. Whatever it's called. I know it's not streamer, but... Yep. Drayton's got, uh, Clay, uh, Drayton's got something. <laughs> yes! A conquistador's helmet. It has a pretty hefty dent in it, too. Cool. Can I have that? Alright. No obvious money but involved, but... There's gotta be something, right? What's this? An old ring. Straight to my booty collection. Nice. Alright, what it turned into? An extra $2? Alright. So there's a, like, a dungeon here or something like that we could go into. I wonder if there is any combat in this game or if it's mainly puzzles. It's probably puzzles. Because there isn't, like, an attack mechanic, so... And he does say he's a treasure hunter, not a pirate, so... No, can't go in there. Yeah. I would have dug right next to him, uh, right where he is. I just, it's a cannonball. I bet it got dropped during a chaotic battle. This is pretty heavy. Alright, I guess you can't get on to the... Yeah, can't get onto the uh, wall there. Let's see if it's anything over here. Or if Drayton picks up anything. Why will you sometimes pick up some things and not others, though? I don't know. Okay. Eh, no. No super obvious spots we're digging, so we'll just uh, kind of leave it. More crabs. I don't see nothing in the water. At least I'm not seeing anything. What if I can dig here? Probably nothing. That's probably just random, a random spot. Nope. Irony. <laughs> you say irony? That's ironic. Whoa. 
type of crab again. Yeah, let's see what this is. The Grub Shack. Stay away, fools! It's a Grub Shack. It's a little old place where we can't get together. Eh, yuck. It's a skull on top of a thing. Wherever you find one of these crusty old signs, you'll be able to return here quickly. Just pop open your local map and click on the little icon. You'll be back at that spot in no time. You're using the local map, right? Yep. Every once in a while, anyway. So, good to know. Hey, dude. Oh, oh hey there, Percy. Welcome to the Grub Shack. Ask about Jake's diaries. Did you find anything out about my family? I thought I might have something written about them in one of my old diaries, but it seems like I misplaced them. No way. You've what now? Oh, I think I moved them during the great cleanup of 78. I recall burying them, but, well, I can't remember where. Are you kidding? Nope. Not to fret, though. I draw maps and notes for all my very goods. Here, take this note and see if you can find where I stashed them. Come back when you do. Great. Thanks. Dot, dot, dot. There's a bunch of numbers on this page. Yep, it's an old pirate's trusted measuring tool. The foot. You'll have to... Count uh, how many steps you've taken. Uh, yep, that's a classic. Looks like Jake's used to trusty old pirate strides to hide his precious diaries. Not to worry, though. Percy can count at least double digits when he's walking. Just hold down the R2 button while moving, and Percy will start counting off steps. Oh, good to know. Lost amidst the forest, I be nine brave steps to west I flee. By such turn, uh, by such turn, four north did tread. Then twelve east I made my bed. So... Nine, w nine west, four north, and uh, four north and twelve east. But we had to be lost in the forest to do that. So, okay. Well, we can always read the note any time. It's not like it's a. How's the local map? Oh wow, this place is large. Okay. Should have known this island was gonna be pretty. He said lost in the forest though, so I guess we have to go a bit further, further in. Because there doesn't seem to be an obvious. Forest spots around here. Okay. So we have to find something that looks like a forest with a kind of an opening. Very generally speaking, anyway. Now what's this? Now flows hunt. We'll go there in a second. Probably around here, right? No, you can't actually get lost in the forest. Oh, I just missed this. Almost missed it. Well, tell it Plus, I said there was nibbling at him. I think this was Cedric's friend. Oh, Blum. I guess swimming wasn't such a great idea after all. Should have gotten a log. Log. There's some sort of weird device here. Log, log, it's better than the bad. It's good. It's log, it's log, it's better than the bad. It's wood. It looks like Blum wasn't the swimmer he thought he was. Among his remains, Percy found this strange device. With a bit of luck, you might be able to solve the cold and discover what Blum was trying to get to Crab... Why Blum was trying to get to Crab Island. Uh, left and right buttons. Move device left and right. Up and down. Shift letters and columns. So it goes K, F, A, U, P, and then resets. So, so it's five spots you can adjust things. Huh. Well, we don't really... The problem is we could probably figure it out, but the thing is it's better to have a... See, so Sed's dead. Sed vowel up. Huh. Let's see. Yeah, it can't be K because there's way too many. There's too many consonants here. Yeah, see? So it's got to be something else like... Uh, maybe F? Well, let's look at F first. Yeah, it's got to be... Well, I mean, it could be A... Uh, it could be... I, I feel like it's uh, L is the second one, if that's the case. No, it could be A. 
I mean, I'm not gonna solve it right this second. We kind of need another clue. Well, I'll come back to this later another day, so. Because we got other things to do. Good night, lady. What a load of gibberish. I'm gonna leave this piece of junk here. Oh, okay. So we just have to check his body again whenever we want to go over it again. Gotcha. I assume it'll be left on the map. Yeah, uh, Charles Blum, so we can check him later. Alright, well, let's see what, uh... So it might be Forrester on this island. So it could be farther along. I don't know, this seems weird that it'd be so far off. Well, what do I know, right? Let's keep playing. Let's keep going. Oh, monkey. Monkey! Hey there, little fella. Nice banana. Oof. Yikes. That monkey's gonna, he's gonna be happy while Drayton's about. We'll have to distract him if we want to deal with the monkey. Alright. deal. Time to deal with Ant Flo. Hey there, mister. You don't look like you're from around here. Nope, I just arrived from a long and dangerous journey. Fascinating. Say, is that a shovel in your pocket? Hey, lady. Sure is. I'm a treasure hunter. You don't say. Oh, sorry. Not me. What, what's the stall about, Flo? God, I gotta stop. I'm not Flo. I'm Scout. Flo's hunt is a franchise. I work the crab branch. Dot, dot, dot. To answer your question, Flo's hunt is a treasure hunting game consisting of five rounds. Each round you pay to participate and receive a map. The first round is free, though, just to get you started. Dot, dot, dot. Solve the map and bring back the token, and you'll get a cash prize. Solve all five rounds, you'll be crowned the Crab Island Flo Hunt Champion. You'll receive a trophy and a decent chunk of cash. Da, da, da. You interested? How can I not be? Maybe we'll play it later because that's probably it's its own investment. So good to know though. No swimming. You'll scare away the fish. GT. Well, the main character can't swim anyway, so. Is this? There's something here. Yeah, it's a hook for catching whales. Poor things. That thing must be huge. Oh, that seems kind of small, but okay. Now oh, it's this. Uh, fishing Adventures Volume 3 by Gale Toot Boot. In this series, I'll be covering different fishing destinations across the Treasure Island and what type of catch the resourceful fisherman or woman might hope to find. How progressive in this, uh, in this old times, huh? Baits. Before setting out, all fisher folk know the importance of bringing the correct bait with them. While the cheapest rod can still pull a prize, if that stinky piece of toe curd on the end of your hook sends the fish swimming in the opposite direction, then what's the point? Crab Island. Crab Island hosts some noticeable prize fish that a keen angler will want to track. With a loosely populated island that boasts no fish industry of note, anglers will find docile fishing among the water. A spotted catfish. The Snoopy bottom feeder prefers calm and sheltered waters. As such, fisher folks should target the bays around Crab Island. Unlike its freshwater peers, the spotted catfish is not too fissy with ba fissy, fussy with bait, though it does seem to show a preference for worms. Porcupine fish. The tropical porcupine fish that hab habits the water around Crab Island will puff itself up as a defense mechanism. As such, caution should be practiced when handling this spiky prey. It's been spotted in the waters near the lighthouse, accompanied with the prickly human that guards that section of coast. Perhaps due to its barbed nature, a porcupine fish will bite at a bare hook. Greasy lungfish. While it's not the tasty dish out there, any angler hoping to complete their shopping list of tropical catches will need to add this slippery eel-like creature to the list. While I've yet to see one of the waters of Crab Island, the locals assure me that they can uh, be spotted on Lonely Palm Island, apparently attracted to the ruins there. Just like the person who decides to eat one of these creatures, the lungfish is not picky about its meal, so. All right, I think we've uh, gotten a, a good gist of the game and how it plays and everything with that. Um, oh, there's some yards, that's it? 10 yards, so like 30 feet, so. Wow, that's a small island. Huh. Well, anyway, uh, well, actually, a lot. There could be small islands, so. But overall, uh, an interesting game. Um, I know, like I said, it's mainly about puzzle solving and exploring the island. Uh, the art style is like pixel art, but it's colorful and uh, expressive in its own way. Um, it's got its own sense of humor. It looks like it tries to bring some reference to like uh, Monkey Island, for example, for its humor. Nothing really stands out. Nothing really made me super laugh, though. Maybe over the course of the game, I'll enjoy it. But I, I feel like humor back in the day was a little bit more, I guess, edgier. This one seems to be a bit almost clean for the most part. But it does have some, uh, like I said, it did show 
skeletons and stuff like that, so maybe I'll pick up later or something like that. Um, you know, main character is likable, like a, I wouldn't even call him an idiot per se, but just a likable goof or something like that. Trying to find his uh, grandfather and mother. Uh, and Drayton is a good boy, like all dogs are. Um, oh yeah, it is pretty quick for that. It would would be crazy if it was too big though, but uh, cop size crap. Um, I'm not sure what to say about this game. Uh, I do like the music for it, and like I said, it's got a lot of graphic charms to it. And like I said, it's got its own sense of humor that tries to abide by. I don't know if it really hits the hits the mark when it comes to humor, but then again, humor is subjective, so. You know, you might find it hilarious. I might be, I might find it okay or chuckle worthy. What's this? Yeah, it's just a spoon. What a forking waste of time. Yeah, nice try game. Maybe I had to be in a mood to laugh at this. But I found Monkey Island to be pretty, pretty funny overall. Like not like ah ha ha, laugh out loud funny, but I chuckled every once in a while. So, but like I said, humor is subjective, so I can't really dock it for that. Um, and the mechanics are pretty straightforward. Nothing too complicated. All the buttons work. Um, it, uh, it's definitely for a specific type of play style, obviously. Um, obviously, the treasure hunting will be the big aspect of it. And depending on how, how uh, good the uh, clues are, it could be either a frustrating or easy affair. Obviously, you play hard mode if you want something a bit more difficult in terms of clues and stuff like that. I wonder if it changes the game when you choose hard mode or if it's the same and you just don't get as many clues. Because with that... Couldn't you just play easy mode and then play hard mode later? I don't know. Maybe it's one of those. I don't know. Found something. An old linen sack. Boring. Well, you still grabbed it anyway, didn't you? But yeah, I think I'll, 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 I'll leave it off here. I think it's an interesting game. I wouldn't mind playing it a bit further. I mean, a game usually has to have something. I don't know how long I'd play this, though. That's the thing. I'm not sure if it's worth enough of my time to keep playing. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but oh, maybe I should have stopped before I started doing plot. Where's that dog running up to now? Uh, oh, now we can go back to the monkey? Better get my dog first. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so I don't want to dock it too badly, though. Like I said, it's not, it's not that it's bad. I'm just wondering if it's enough to keep me... I do like puzzle games and stuff like that, but I don't know if it's if there's enough there to like really grip me to keep it going. Uh... So I'd probably give this game like a six, six out of ten overall. Uh, like I said, not bad. It's just maybe like a little bit above average. Maybe if I played a little bit longer, maybe I'd rate a bit higher. Um, as is, like I said, not bad. It's just, I don't know, it's just something about it that I'm not really invested enough to keep going, despite me liking pirates and, and treasure hunting and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, maybe if I got more into the game and, and, and really focused on it, I'd really, really wrap up into it. So anyway, what do you all think of this game? Do you think this is a game that should I should... Well, I mean, I I will play. I might play it off screen for some. Uh, this is more of a first impressions, or should I play it to try and finish the game and show an end? End. Uh, let's end this video. I haven't done those in forever because I usually haven't got a chance to finish a lot of the games I try because I've been working on other things. But yeah, what do you all think of this game? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think that it was good enough for what it needs to be, or was there something missing from it? But uh, either way, we'll leave it off there. Oh, no, I don't want to dig. Huh. But I think we'll leave it off there. So. For all you mighty treasure hunters or pirates out there, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.